The construction of a chain link fence encircling St. Jude Roman Catholic School in Camalote Village is the result of a petition made by school principal Chevon Ramirez to Cayo South Era representative Julius Espat. The request came about after reported sightings of a white van in the vicinity of the school compound. That suspicious vehicle, it is believed, was being used to abduct children from the school grounds. As the principal, during our PTA, starting in September, parents were constantly asking um, what could be done to enclose the school compound because of the scare around October, November with the kidnapping of students. And so we, the PTA, along with other parents, met and we decided to write a letter to Honorable Julius Espat for him to help us. And sure indeed, he came and he responded and, say, and said that he would, he would assist with the fencing of our school at St. Jude RC. It's a project that saw Espat turn to the business community for assistance in order to make the fence a reality for students and teachers. There have always been complaints that the school is too open to the highway, which is a highly trafficable highway. Um, and they, they wrote me a letter asking assistance. Uh, we analyzed it. Um, we have been doing fences in other communities. We did one in Cotton Tree also. So it's not something new, but this one was a, was a large one. And so before I told them, yes, I went out to make sure that we had the financing in place. We got back to them after about a week. And, and we started in, in November. Um, and we finish it, finished sometime in, in January. Um, but it's, the feedback has been pretty good. Um, value of the project, approximately 75,000 Belize dollars. Um, we financed it basically with some of the community vote that I get. Um, I donated about four to five months of my salary towards it. Um, my company gave some financial contribution and labor. And I went to other business communities that normally help us and um, we showed them the business plan as to what, and we didn't get money from them, we got, we got material. The fence, says Ramirez, brings a peace of mind to the staff because they can better monitor the activities of students at school. At this moment, we are all happy about having this enclosure for the students' safety because at times students would probably walk out and we didn't know because they were all, there were various outlets that they could have walked and went without letting the teachers or myself know about it. The undertaking was a collaborative effort between the era representative and the Kamalote Village Council, which is formed by members of the United Democratic Party. Despite partisanship, both groups continue to work closely with each other. We worked with the village council, who is um, there on a UDP village council, but we have a good working relationship with them, and so they gave us the green light to be able to do the work. Apart from that, there was some land that was kind of community land, um, and they made sure that, that it was in place uh, for the school to be used, and that way we, we, we were able to, to, to secure the perimeter and leaving the football field for the, for the, for the community outside. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.